Yeah, boss, we got big problems. You better call that robot that spot show. What's that uh, spot bot? But it does come with a remote. That doesn't work from way back here. Fuck. Or here. Or here. Or here. What the fuck? Fucking remotes. Dude, it's crooked, but sun's coming up. Just went to adjust it a little bit because it looked like it was falling out. Snap right off. Lucked out, had what I needed. Zach's gotta go take a shit. <laughs> I'm like, give her bud. Yeah, I was driving. I was backing up in some mud a couple weeks ago and it I noticed that that glad hand was kind of knackered a little bit. I bent it back, but NFG, 
and then I was it looks like it was gonna fall out of here so I was just trying to bend this a little bit and put it back in and uh, sure shit it just snapped off <laughs> But we're golden now. The best part of waking up is breaking shit on your truck. No Folgers needed. I was actually surprised that it had shit in the truck. Kits. Two kits. It's more kits than I got. All right, we're good to go. We'll get going. Off to Edson. Maybe that's what I get for uh, taking this small shot. This is fucked. Well, I'll go put it that way. If it opens up, it's game over. No heat. I was like, it better be just something simple. Not oh. much left holding this whole girl together. Hope I got more zip ties just in case. Trailer ABS is on. 919,000 Ks. It's only young with 6,500 hours. <laughs>
Well, it looks like it's starting to get dusty again. Lights. You don't need ABS to drive down the road. It was just tractor ABS, and then uh, when I fixed that airline, all of a sudden my trailer ABS is on. I was like, what? And it's connected. It's for the uh, common air. I was like, what the? What the? But anyways, nice. It was damp in areas, a lot of the rumble strips had water in them. I'm like, ah, oh, it's gonna be one of those days. But we weren't quite dead since, so it was dry. That's what I reckon. And uh, we're gonna zip back to Nisku and uh, get some pick on stuff. Nice. It's all by loader, I guess. NOV in Leduc. And get some centrifuge goodies. Go back. And uh, I don't know what's gonna happen after that. Hopefully that's it. Shut her down. No overnight. That's what happens. If I bring a big enough lunch, I never stay overnight. I said it might turn into two days. I did grab all my bedding. I gotta take it home and wash it anyways. So it's kind of a pain in the ass because 
the, the bedding, my cooler, all my charger, charger cords. I'm gonna need my sticky pad for my camera. Gotta make sure I have all my magnets. I'm like, am I forgetting anything? I gotta bring my own Windex because there's no window cleaner in here. We broke the door this morning. It was glued on, but it was all flopping and falling off. So I, uh, I just helped it along a little bit. Someone put it all out of like, must have been hot glue. Oh, it's silicone. Like, put that thing on properly, one of the problem. Yeah, nice and quiet. Taking a little bit getting used to, uh, I was winching with the clutch in. I was like, it's not working. Haha, ha, funny T800 transmission PTO jokes. Nice and smooth. We got new steers. We got a bunch of new tires on the drives. Hopefully there wasn't a retorque. I didn't see a tag anywhere. They hold rocks though. You could hear them just ping. Everyone's on ping, ping. Two windshields instead of one. Got brand new glass. It's not all scratched up. I hate the wide load mirrored so they're so far away from the truck it's hard to gauge where your truck is to the load so I look in this one I'm like oh I'm crooked I line up there I look over there and I'm like oh I'm still crooked I line up on this mirror I back over. I'm like I'm crooked I'm like Fuck. I know I've talked about this many a times just pick a mirror and line up that's your best bet truck is clean so I even brought my hot box because I got a breakfast burrito also just in case VDM pretty light traffic for today um, yeah I turned that valve and still no heat so I don't know if I missed the valve maybe there's another one somewhere else Usually they're coming in off the block and then you would have them from the heater core out just in case if you have a trouble at either end. But I glanced quickly, I didn't see anything, so we'll see. Hopefully it uh, should be all right until tomorrow morning. I guess I should explain if I haven't already, which I think I did. They don't want to get my truck all filth. It's going to West Dock. It's going to get new bushings on like all the drivetrain kingpins, uh, even whatever steering they need to fix up if that needs to be fixed, uh, new steers, wheel alignment, such and such, all that stuff. Pan hard bar bushings, you know, the whole slew. So it'll be like a new truck, damn near. I got six new shocks on the back. I'm pretty sure the front ones are decently new, so let the GoPro just turn on on its own. I said off. Fuck. I don't even have voice control turned on, and it just turns on on its own. It's starting to be a real POS. If it's plugged in, I can't just hit the record button, and video would used to come on. No, it won't. It's got some bugs. Whoops. Have you tried unplugging it, resetting it, upgrading to the newest firmware? Yes, I've done all of it. Did you try unplugging the router for 30 seconds?
Greg single stock T by Janus. Maybe it's Clay.
spectacular!